This is the egg chocolate. Yes, Princess Zilka. Do you like it? <laughs> See, it's not what I want to do for you. Here, yeah, there, everywhere. Let's see which side we turn. So, Olivia had the chance to practice her voice on stage as she traveled with Diana through the country. I don't know where they went, but Sarsuela is not opera. It's not seen as such. Sarsuela is like a milder version of the voice. So Diana also told me that she did never became an opera singer because she, she started late. To me, she had a beautiful little voice, but that was in the beginning. Yeah, a studied voice when she was, you know, in the beginning of my vocalization. The thing is, in order to understand voices, you need to know. And how can you know? You need to study first. So she had a beautiful, soft, light soprano voice. And Sarsuela was just good. How do I say it? If you can work at a French restaurant, being a chef, maybe you can flip burgers. Yeah, maybe that's a good analogy. Yeah, why not? Nothing wrong with burgers. <laughs> but this can enter the category of being a chef. Maybe that's how it works. So Olivia had plenty of experience. Yeah, maybe because of her looks, she wasn't so, she wasn't complacent. I met Olivia at Diana's house. Diana organized a happening, a gathering in her house for me. Oh yes, <laughs> she wanted me to meet everything. Like Pariente told me that you need to be in a gremium. You need to be with the people who are in whatever that is you do. That means you're an opera. He didn't say it, but of course, I'm an opera. need to know everything. What's there to know? Who is there? Who's there? Just be in the world of the opera, right? So Diana made a happening in her house in Cuernavaca for me. So I met Olivia Gora. I met her husband, her baby. Did she have the baby already? Yes, baby. I met Jamie Dempster there. Ah, was that his name? Was Barrett the director? No, there was someone, that was De La Rueda. Fernando De La Rueda was one of those renowned orchestra directors in Mexico who did not arrive that day. So I did not meet him. No, he had been invited, not La Dimeke. Enrique Dimeke wasn't invited. No. So I met Olivia there. No, she had some little clown as her husband. Yeah, it's hard to be a professional. And then she left and left her child with him. And did no, she came back. I mean, she had to travel because of her work. Yeah, it's hard to do that. Difficult. No, I think about those things a lot. No, she's on stage here and there. And she can't be with her family. She's all alone. No, she had her moment. Now she has to go to some place and sleep and be lonely. I don't think I like that. <laughs> I I don't know. I had no much vision, but my vision is if I sing somewhere, I need to have my man with me. I can't go alone. If I have a husband, he's be together, together, everywhere, something. No, I never envisioned the wheelchair guy as my husband. <laughs> Funny. I could have told him, but pariente, pariente, ma dai, sei italiano, ma inventa. Because he chose to tell me, but you don't want to be with me, he said. As he excused all his dumb moves. Yeah, Roberto pariente, pariente. You don't want to be with me, he said, you don't. Because you don't want to push a wheelchair in front, right? Constantly he was like, continuously making the illusion what could happen in the future if we now become a partner couple. So I could have told him, ma Roberto, dai, ma parente, inventa, che sai paura, che cosa, inventa. I could put a motor on it, yeah, be inventive, on your wheelchair, you can do it all by yourself, ma cia. What else? I mean, you don't give out anyway. <laughs> you don't give out anyway. No presta. <laughs> oh, I'm so from, no, he wasn't. <laughs> yeah, well, no, I did not envision him at all <laughs> because I want a partner, not a whiny shit. Doesn't matter what age you have. I was just looking if there could be something. 
I know it was a bad and wrong choice from the start. But then again. But I, I, I talked my way into it. Because he wasn't there, that's why. I can't start a relationship and he's not there. Like once a week, no, once a month, one week a month or something, I don't know. It doesn't work. So no. But I, I, saw, I thought to myself, man, look at the monkeys. Blah, 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 blah. And he talks. Gnosticism and, you know, Dionysius and blah. So let's see. He likes expressionists. He likes Kirchner. On and on. And yeah, he went to see me singing and he went to an opera. So we were starting on the good foot there. So I said, okay, I'm going to just put my values aside, but not my moral. I'm going to go and look at him when he comes here, knowing it's stupid, but I will do it now. So I did.